All right, so today we're taking a look at what's in my everyday carry programmer backpack. And the idea with this entire bag is essentially just to have a single bag that has everything that I need so that I never really need to worry about packing. I know that if I grab this bag, then I'm good. And I've put a lot of thought into figuring out what the ultimate programmer backpack would look like, what the most useful gear would be. And I'll put some really useful stuff into this bag and I'm super happy with how it turned out. So now let's take a look at what I've got. Okay, so let's start off with the backpack and there are lots of different models from different backpack brands that look pretty much exactly like this one. But this particular one had some things that I was looking for and was also on quite the cheap side. And it's called the 24 Battle Pack Tactical Backpack. And I will leave links to all the items that I mentioned in the description so that you can take a look if you want to buy the specific one that I got. If you buy something through one of those links, that also supports my channel. But anyway, I got this bag because it's quite big and it also has lots of different storage alternatives, which means that it fits my list of everyday carry requirements. So uh, let's go through the different compartments and I'll show you the super useful tech goodies that I've discovered and that has made this bag the ultimate programmer backpack. So let's start by taking a look at the top outer compartment. And in this compartment, I basically keep all of my like pocketable items that I sometimes don't want to carry in my pockets. And the first item is my wallet, which is just a fairly slim wallet, nothing special really. I also put my headphones in this compartment. I like to carry two types, one wireless and one wired. The audio when talking on the phone kind of sucks when you're on the wireless headphones. So therefore I like to carry some wired ones as well so that the person on the other end will have a better experience. Plus they don't run out of battery. So I use the standard Apple wired headphones. But when working out or listening to podcasts on the go, I like wireless since there are no wires that get tangled. So for this, I use the AirPods Gen 1. For me, this setup works great. I also keep a pill organizer in here sometimes when I feel like I need it. I don't always take these supplements, but sometimes I do and it's enough to warrant carrying it. I also keep a multi-tool in this compartment and generally I like to keep this in my pocket because I use this all the time. I never really thought that I needed a multi-tool, but ever since I got one, I've realized how useful it actually is, especially if you keep it in your pockets. I use the Leatherman Wingman, but if I was doing this today or if I was getting it today, I would probably go for one that has interchangeable bits for the Phillips driver thing. And finally, I just put my keys in here and on my key ring, I have two really interesting items. One is a pill dispenser and the other one is a USB drive. The USB drive is my favorite thing ever. It's a USB-C and regular USB drive, which means that I can use it on any computer. So this means that I can boot up Linux on any computer I find, which is great. I don't need an adapter for it. And it's also nice to have as a backup in case I need to store or send a file to someone. And the pill dispenser just has some pills that I use. And it's actually saved me a few times because sometimes, you know, you just end up going somewhere and you end up sleeping somewhere you didn't actually intend to. to. And in those sort of cases, it's really useful to have this. And I also just sometimes go somewhere intentionally and to sleep there or whatever. And I forget my main pill organizer thing. So in those cases, this thing is super useful. And it means that I never really need to worry about keeping that with me because I know that I always have this backup. So that's it for my top compartment here. And now let's actually move on to this main or the secondary compartment, which is my tech compartment. So this is my tech organizer bag thingy. And this is where I keep the really cool and super useful programmer related stuff or tech related stuff. Uh, so let's go through this bag. But first, let's just go quickly go through the rest of the stuff that's in this compartment. There's not much. So let's just go through it. Wet wipes. Uh, this is for going to the bathroom, to be honest. I love wet wipes and cannot really live without them. I also have a notebook here. I use this to write down different things. Mostly I actually use it for my nature type of experiences. For instance, I use this to track fishing patterns in my local waters. So what I'll do is I'll write down like uh, water temperature, air temperature, what the weather was doing that day, uh, high tide, low tide, the moon faces, all these different things like the wind as well. 
And that's just to kind of keep track of these sort of things. I'll also, of course, write down how the fishing actually went that day. And the idea is that in the future, I'll be able to look back at this and then analyze it and figure out when is a good time to go fishing and when's a bad time to go fishing in my local area. Just a tad overkill, but that's what I use it for. Also, hot tip for your notebooks, number your pages and then create an index on the first page. That way you can easily search through your notes later on, courtesy of Tim Ferriss. Then we have a little medical kit in here as well that I never used to carry, but that I've figured is kind of good to have. It has all your regular med kit stuff, tourniquet, bandage, some painkillers, hand sanitizers, plasters, or whatever you call it, etc. Okay, so now let's take a look at my tech organizer bag. And in here I keep everything that I need for my daily tech related stuff. Firstly, the absolute most useful item and also the most used item is the Ivanki docking station. Ivanki is sponsoring this video, but honestly today we all need a USB-C docking station. And even if you have a couple extra ports on your laptop, more is just always better. And with this single dock with dual USB-C ports designed exclusively for Apple laptops, I get everything that I need. It gives you a 12 port expansion with ethernet, several regular USB ports, dual 4K 60 Hertz HDMI 2.0 ports, micro SD and regular SD card readers. It also allows for 96 watt laptop charging, which will charge up even the beefiest 16 inch MacBook Pro at full speed. And it also has an 18 watt power delivery port to charge up your phone at the same time. It has everything that I need. So this is my most used item in the entire bag. I highly recommend checking out the Ivanki 12 in one docking station. There will be a link in the description. The next item in this bag is my second most used item in the bag, which is a retractable ethernet cable. And I'm such a proponent of retractable everything. This is just a recent discovery for me, but I think it's just super useful because it just keeps things organized in your bag for you without you actually having to worry about it. Uh, and it also takes up a little bit less space than having a cable in your bag. For some reason that just ends up taking up a lot of space. So anytime I can find something retractable, I will always opt for the retractable version. I also have a retractable HDMI cable, which again, always seems to come in handy, especially if I'm in like a hotel and I wanna watch something from my laptop on the hotel TV. Super useful, a tad big compared to the ethernet one, but still definitely worth carrying for me. Then the last retractable item is a multi-device charging adapter. This has lightning, USB-C, micro USB, which means that I can pretty much charge everything that I own and that I charge on a regular basis just using this cable. And there are other alternatives for these sort of cables, but this one is the most compact and easily organizable one that I've found. Again, retractable everything, trust me. And in this compartment of this bag, I also keep a quite odd item, which is a foldable keyboard. And this is a Bluetooth foldable keyboard. Uh, this is something that I bought for a video that I did with Peter Lindgren or Peter Lindgren, depending on if you're Swedish or not. And where we did this like hacker B-roll sequence. And I'll leave a link to that in the description in case you want to check it out. And it was really just to get a cool shot for that video. But since then, I've actually kept it with me because it's really small and compared to other keyboards in comparable sizes, this one actually feels almost like a normal keyboard when folded out and I don't need to carry this or anything. Right now I carry it mostly as a backup keyboard for my next item, which resides in the next compartment, which is a Raspberry Pi 3B+. The reason that I have it is because I use this as a like tiny portable computer. Not a great one, but it's still kind of useful. I use the version three and not the four here because the three has a regular HDMI port, which fits my retractable HDMI cable. Otherwise, I would need to carry two HDMI cables. The Raspberry Pi can also be used as like a low risk computer. So what I can use this for is essentially if I want to try something a bit risky where it might require me to end up having to reinstall the entire OS, I can use this device and I won't lose anything because I won't have anything special on here. And that can be sometimes super useful. I can also use this to set it up as a proxy somewhere. And I'll make a video on that in the future. So make sure to subscribe if you want to see that. I actually have a few Raspberry Pi projects lined up. Anyway, I carry this and I don't really need to and I don't use it enough to kind of warrant carrying it, but I sort of like the idea to know that I have it and that I can use it. Next, we can move on to the outer compartments of this tech organizer. 
Also, this tech organizer kind of sucks. It's actually way too big and not really what I was looking for. Either way, in the first outer compartment, I keep this little thing. Remember when the Apple laptops felt super exclusive because they had this MagSafe charging cable, which also meant that you could walk into the cable without the entire laptop falling on the ground and breaking? Well, this little thing is actually a MagSafe charging adapter or a MagSafe USB-C adapter. So what you can do is you can actually plug in your charging cable here and then you can plug this into your computer and voila, you now have a MagSafe charger. And it's actually really nice and it works quite well as well. Now onto the next outer compartment. In here I keep two USB drives one with Kali Linux and one that's empty and also a micro SD card adapter. The adapter is mostly for the Raspberry Pi so that I can reinstall a new OS on the Raspberry Pi if I would want to. All right, so that's it for this like tech organizer bag and it's actually it for this second secondary main compartment as well. Well, actually I'll usually I'll put my laptop charger in this part compartment as well basically anything tech related. Moving on to the bottom outer compartment of the bag. So this is where I keep my user specific carry. So if we open this up, the first thing that we see is two or two like big boxes slash bags. The first one contains my binoculars and these are the Swarovski 8x25 and the best smallest binos that I could find. Super expensive, but really good. I use these for my bird watching. Next to this thing, I have a box of fishing lures and baits. To me, this is super useful. This means that I pretty much always have what I need to go fishing. I find that I rarely ever struggle to find a rod. You can usually borrow one from someone close or you can find one in some sort of way. But finding the right lures and baits that you actually like, that's a different story. So I like to keep my favorites with me so that I can use them in case I need to. The box is also small enough to fit in a jacket pocket fairly comfortably. And next we have some of the smaller items in this compartment. My knife, which is a Mora knife or a Mora kniv. Very basic, but extremely good. I also keep a flashlight with me. May it be a light to you in dark places when all other lights go out. And then we have my trusted ferro rod, which is my method of choice for making a fire. This one is a thick boy and almost brand new, so it doesn't have much wear yet. I also keep regular matches as a backup, and I'm considering replacing these with a storm lighter or whatever those high powered lighters are called, but I haven't gotten around to it. And then I also keep a jar of Vaseline, which can be used for so many things and weighs so little that it's a no-brainer to keep in my pack. Now, I also have a little IR thermometer in here. And to be honest, I'm not really sure why. Uh, I saw it, it was tiny, I thought it would be useful and it looked kind of cool, so I bought it. It is kind of cool and fun to use, but I'm not really sure that it's useful. Finally, I like to keep some snacks in here as well. So I usually keep about two protein bars with me and I highly recommend doing that because I go through these things like crazy. Uh, I actually don't have two bars in here right now because I just went through them, but I highly recommend it. It's especially for like when you get stuck somewhere that you didn't intend to and you haven't eaten. So like if you get stuck in traffic, for instance, that's a big case. Like for me, that's usually when I end up eating it and just, other cases when you end up being somewhere for longer than you intended to and you need a, a quick snack. So keep snacks in your packs. It rhymes, so it must be true. All right, so now we get to the actual main compartment and this is where the magic happens. Uh, not really, this is actually usually pretty much empty. I keep my iPad in here, which I really mostly use for signing PDF documents and for entertainment. But other than that, I keep this compartment pretty much empty because it's dedicated to clothing. Again, the idea with this entire bag is to have a single bag that I know has everything that I need so that I never need to think about packing. I just know that if I grab this bag, then I'm good. So this compartment is actually supposed to stay empty so that I can put in like use case specific things. So for instance, if I'm going away for the week or the weekend or something, then I'll put clothes in here. And if I'm going to the studio for the day, then I'll put my lunch and also my like some workout clothes. 
All right, now for the last compartment, which is the back compartment. This is where I keep my laptop, the MacBook Pro 13 M1. Let me know if I should make an update video on my thoughts on this now after like six months of use. And I think this compartment is actually meant for a water pouch or something like that, but it works perfectly for my laptop. So yeah, that's uh, what I carry in my programmer everyday carry backpack. And I hope I was able to give you some useful tips or some ideas for new things that you might want to add to your packs. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, why not subscribe? Doesn't hurt. Uh, and yeah, I hope I'll see you in the next one and uh, that's it.